What's up, y'all? Y'all know what I'm doing, man. I'm out here protecting my peace, and I haven't went live in a long time, but it was just on my heart to come here with a quick message. As you can see, I'm up here in the clouds, man. I'm in Cali. I'm super, like, high, man. Look at this. I'm in the clouds. You can't even see below, which is super dope to me. What up, y'all? And I want to share a quick message for you. Something that I learned in my life and as I conversated on my hike up here, something that I really thought about. Hey, what's up, y'all? What's up? What's up? First, I want to advocate for nature and tell you this, especially my people. Uh, when I say that, my black people, uh, my minorities, and I know it's becoming more normal now as we talk about mental health more often. But getting out in nature, man, is is very important. Very important. Because one, I call it the trifecta. It's the reason why Jesus, if you if you read the stories in the Bible, Jesus always went to the mountains. And he disconnected. And I'm gonna be honest with you, man. I feel so connected to God right now, so connected to who I am, connected to my soul, connected to my mom. And hiking has changed my life. Nature has changed my life. You hear me say it, protect your peace. But nature really heals, guys. And if you're in a place that has like California and has hikes and everything, you're not out there in nature, I don't know what you're doing. It's one of the best things that I could tell you that will help your life tremendously, tremendously. And the reason being that trifecta, for one, you get an incredible workout. I mean, heart rate training to the max, right? For two, you get an incredible mindset. There's nothing like subconsciously and consciously conquering something, right? Climbing up to something, getting on top of something. If you've ever been on top of a building, some of y'all are afraid of heights, but the higher you go, the more powerful you feel. It's because you feel like you're on top, right? Just like when you're a kid, you want the top bunk bed because you felt like you were superior. So it does something for your mindset. And probably the most important thing is that it connects with your it connects your soul it allows you to disconnect from this connected world that often drains you and we have this myth in the personal development space and in social media to work hard 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 but people don't understand working hard doesn't mean working stupid it doesn't mean going a thousand miles per hour working hard is a is a holistic approach of learning how to recover learn how to be efficient and learning progression that's what I consider working hard. So I just want to come on here and tell you that because we're often searching for more. We're often searching for, you know, that thing that's supposed to change our life. And what I've realized, and maybe it's just me, is that often the things that you're searching for, you already have. God has blessed us with a beautiful planet that a lot of us don't take advantage of. And all the resources that we need are inside of us, guys. And so I want to tell everybody watching this that maybe you're trying too hard. And some of y'all probably like, man, I'm getting off of this live. This is not the entrepreneur spirit. Some of y'all might be trying too hard, trying too hard to impress people, trying too hard to influence people, trying too hard to prove to people, trying too hard to fill in the blank. Because I've learned in my life, the thing that you need to try hard at is being comfortable, which is so hard, guys, with who you truly are. It's not about impressing the next person. You don't have to have a million dollars to be wealthy. You don't have to have a million followers to have influence, guys, as it's raining. You don't have to have XYZ to be XYZ. Don't let the world fool you, man. Don't let social media fool you. Social media has become a place of perfection. And it's made the grind look easy, right? It's made, it's made us think that we have to be there in our first attempts. It, it, it's made trying not look cool anymore. And trying is the coolest thing that you can do because without trying, you'll never become. So go try it. Today, I struggled up this mountain. 
But one thing is for damn sure I got better. And just to personally put this on myself and expose myself a bit, you know, I came up here trying to compete with my former self, right? My ego kind of got in, in, in place. It was like, man, you can jog up this mountain. I got humble real quick. And there was this lady that was going at a slow pace, but she kept progressing, mission to grow and progress. And that's what this journey is about, man. So stop allowing social media to make y'all feel like it's something else, man. So yeah, I don't know if that touched anybody's heart. It was just on my mind to say it and go find a mountain and go climb it, go sit up there, cry your tears out, scream it out, focus your life. And I'll leave you with this question. What are you ignoring in your life that's been put on your heart to do? But you've been talking yourself out of it because of all the external things. Maybe it doesn't have enough money in it. Maybe it's not popular. Maybe you feel like you're not qualified. But you've been talking yourself out of it. And I just feel like so many times, man, we miss all the things that are meant for our life because our vision has been fixed on things that we think that we need. But honestly, it's things that we don't. If you want another awesome video in our Black Excellence series, check out the video right there next to me. I think you'll enjoy it. Continue to believe, and I'll see you there.